the focus of the event that Prime Minister will participate in at the UN is on countering terrorist narratives um, uh, and violent extremists uh, through uh, internet and cyberspace. Uh, you will appreciate that this is an emerging threat, it is a growing threat, and is a threat to all of us. Um, and so this will be an area in which we will focus you are also aware, perhaps, that Prime Minister has called for an international conference on terrorism. Uh, this, I'm certain, will again be articulated. Uh, we will pursue a narrative against terrorism in every forum. Sir, what about the bilaterals? A major bilateral is slated with Mr. Trump. This will, they will be meeting first at Houston, then again here in New York. What do you, how do you see this? How do you envisage this kind of meeting, a growing engagement between India and U.S.? Um, there has been a consistent trajectory of boom in India-U.S. relations. Uh, this is bipartisan. This uh, is straddles differences of parties in the U.S. as well as in India. Um, this is perhaps the fourth instance of Prime Minister and uh, President Trump meeting this year. They met at the G20. They met at the G7. Uh, they will meet in Houston, and they will meet again in New York. Uh, you can understand the intensity and the growth in our ties. Um, these are reflections of that boom and rapid growth in our ties between India and U.S., and we look forward to that meeting. Mr. Imran Khan has specifically said that we are going to come to U.N. and tell the world what India is doing in Kashmir. And How do you look at this? How do you, Are you countering it? Uh, you know, uh, this is my 35th year in diplomacy. Uh, I have seen many theatrics in the General Assembly. Uh, many people uh, for, uh, use their 30 minutes of uh, global attention in the ways that they want. People remember them for what they are, anachronisms who do not conform to the global norm. If a country and a leader want to do that, he or she is free to do that. I have heard rants, I have heard abuses from different leaders, uh, yet who remembers them? They are footnotes in the path of history. If people want to be remembered like that, it's their free will to do so.